So in this video, I'm going to show you how gripping the golf club with a weak left hand grip isn't all that bad. You can actually play some tremendously good golf and get in some amazing positions in the golf swing with that weak left hand if you do it properly. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So a lot of you who saw this title and the thumbnail of this video would have been thinking, what on earth is he talking about? How can you make a left hand grip that's weak work? And all I need to say is, John Rahm, Colin Morikawa, Bryson DeChambeau, all these golfers play with weak left hand grips. They should be bad, shouldn't they? Because you're always told, aren't you, that you can't grip it with a weak left hand grip. Pretty much every golf YouTuber instructor makes videos about it. And pretty much every pro at your local club will say, you cannot grip it like this. You'll turn up to a lesson with that weak left hand grip and they'll say, that's why you're slicing it. And then they'll change your grip. So you can absolutely make it work just like those top players do. And it's not as hard as you think it is either. And you'll get yourself into some amazing positions. You'll start to shallow the golf club. You'll start to rotate it easier and you'll start to compress the golf ball a little bit more as well. That all sounds good. Let's talk about how you do it. So how do we make that weak left hand grip work? We need to bow the left wrist. So doing this kind of movement here with the left wrist here. So you might see players like John Rahm, Colin Murakawa do this move. Because what bowing the left wrist does, it closes off the club face. So we know, yep, of course, if we swing with a flat left wrist, so like you would do with a standard grip with a weak left hand grip, yes, of course, the club face is gonna get open. So that's why most pros were trying to change this because they don't understand wrist angles. Amazes me how some coaches do not know a thing about wrist angles. It's one of the most basic things in golf instruction. So if you bow that left wrist with a weak grip, you've just negated the weakness of that grip in the pure sense of what it affects the club face like. So that's one element that it's gonna massively change. Then you can easily square up the club face without doing anything else, just via bowing the left wrist. So there's other things that bowing the left wrist does to your golf swing as well. One of the main ones here is shallowing the golf club. It's a shallowing variable in the golf swing. So when we start the downswing and our left wrist stays in some flexion, bowing is another word for that, the center of mass of club will start to pitch behind you and you'll start to shallow it. And the cool thing about this as well is it will negate the opening nature that shallowing the golf club has. Shallowing the golf club will slightly open the club face, but let's say you're continuing to add flexion of that left wrist as you're going down, club face is staying stable and square. So then what does really shallowing encourage and having a nice square club face in the downswing? Rotation, because that is what will then control the club face and make it stable going through the golf ball. I had quite a worrying comment the other day and saying how this wasn't something that even existed, how bowing the left wrist doesn't make a, have a single effect on squaring the club face, how the only way to square the club face was through flipping the hand through the golf ball. Not at all, if you're bowing that left wrist, so it squares, then you can turn, club face can get delivered into the golf ball with that square face. And then all you need to do is move your body through the golf ball to be able to keep this where you want it to be. So amazing. So this is why it blows my mind sometimes, why if a player has a slight, let's say weak grip, and it'll get changed straight away, all they need to do is add a little bit of flexion to that left wrist, and you're good, because what's that also going to encourage? If we're delivering that bowed left wrist into the golf ball, and we're rotating nicely, because that's going to encourage that from shallowing, a little bit of shaft lean, so a little bit more compression as well. Just amazing. That's why it's something you can do in the golf swing. Yeah, it's not the only way to do it. I'm not saying everyone needs to do it, they certainly don't. I do it in my golf swing, but I've done it from the time I was 10 years old from when I started golf to now. I've always bowed the left wrist as a natural movement, but I've had many students, and I still have students who have built the bow into their golf swing, and they're absolutely nailing it with it. So it's definitely a way you can work with this as well. So just making sure we're getting that little bow in the left wrist, and it's just incredibly easy to strike these nice golf shots course once you've had the practice with it. There's no substitute to working on something. Can't just watch a video and then implement it straight away. Don't work like that. It takes months and months and months to get this into your golf swing. But it calms down so many of the variables in there. There's one other nice thing that it can do as well, which you can use very much to your advantage. Now when we grip the golf club with a weak left hand grip, 
we are then only having a certain amount of range of motion we can do with the club to rotate it, or we can say supinate the forearm, which is where the underside of the forearm is pointing more up to the sky. So rotating the forearm this way. We can only do so much of that with a weak left hand grip. If I put it now standard, two and a half knuckles, let's see if you look at the club face, see how much more that's rotating. Now with a strong grip, see how much more now that's rotating again. Lots of club face closure. So you've got less chance of turning one over if that club face is coming in nice and square. So you're really gonna struggle to hit the ball left if you have this grip type, which eliminating one side of the golf course is a very good thing to do. So again, really bowing that left wrist. It's gonna help with shallowing. It's gonna help with squaring off the club face because we know it's not gonna be square by nature with a weak left hand grip. So of course, Maybe adding some more flexion in the downswing will keep that club face square to negate the shallow opening nature. It's gonna help with turning through the golf ball. That's gonna help with a little bit of lean from that extra bow. And you're gonna have less chance to have one where that forearm over supinates or rolls, you could say, which will then get rid of a lot of left ones in there. So let's talk about a little drill to do to help with it. So real simple drill to do with this is just a T drill in the glove. So we just grab a T, Pull it into the front side of our glove just like this. Now what we do, first put it halfway through. Now we want to create a gap between our forearm and the tee in the swing. That's what we want to do, create a gap just like so. So how we do that is by getting a little bow. If you bow that wrist, you could create a gap. But if you just think create a gap, you'll be bowing it. Keep that gap all the way through here. So feel that gap between tee and forearm. There we go. We're going to be bowing that left wrist real nice doing that. So get this going in here with this drill if you want to get this into your golf swing. But this is optional. You don't have to do it. It just has more benefits to it. It just, it's just blows my mind when so many people think you can't hit a golf ball with this grip. Have you not been watching golf on TV? If you think this, it is a way you can swing a golf club. There is the error of a perfect golf swing is gone. That's not here anymore. It's not the 90s, it's not the early 2000s anymore. Aesthetic golf is over, it's gone. If you try to swing with that perfect swing, getting all in these all perfect positions, positions everywhere, it's gonna really ruin your golf swing because not everyone can swing like that. Not everyone will be able to do this, be bowing the left wrist and swinging with this weak golf grip. But it's good to have this info in there to know that you can do different things with the golf swing and you can succeed with it quite nicely. So, if you enjoyed this video, Click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So you can bow that left wrist with a weak grip and you can play perfectly fine with a weak grip.